hosting the Rams this week. Look ahead was Baltimore minus seven and a half. Saw a little movement towards the road underdog. Now we're kind of back onto the seven. Uh, Rams took care of business last week, as we talked about. Played Flacco tough in the fourth quarter. Uh, pulled away late. Covered against the Browns. The LA offense now has looked pretty good the last couple weeks. 36 points now in two straight games. At least 36 points. Uh, Ravens coming off the bye. Um, and, and I think that's noteworthy. Of course, they beat the Chargers two weeks ago on Monday night, so they are uh, rest advantage in this game. And, guys, I think the total was noteworthy. We've seen this total drop about four points from the open. And it, we're all kind of on this game in some capacity. We all think Baltimore is the side. But, uh, Chris, I'll start with you because it does look like another teaser. Uh, we're all kind of teasing this one, but uh, we're all teasing it in different ways. Yeah, I, I like uh... – I like Baltimore to come away with this win. There's a lot of Rams love going on. Uh, they're finally healthy. So, uh, supposedly, uh, Baltimore, sh- this is going to be an interesting game. It's going to be crappy weather. I don't think uh, I. Uh, there has not been a weather update on this game uh, for it to be improved. I think there's going to be difficulty with the Rams being able to move the ball on the ground uh, against Baltimore. And if it's rainy and windy, it's going to be difficult to throw the ball. Uh, So I definitely lean toward the under. I'd like to have that 41. It's not uh, out there at the moment. Uh, I did play under. uh, I played under at at higher numbers uh, before. And I do like them to just win the game. So I need to pair them and uh, use them in a teaser. I'm certainly not going to lay seven because they'll be winning by 24 and then they'll give up 21 late ones and win by three or lose outright or something. But uh, I'm going to take Baltimore with Buffalo plus eight. And I'm also going to pair them with Tampa Bay plus eight and a half. And that U.S. pays plus 160 which nice. is a better wager than laying minus 120 on a teaser. So uh, rather than laying a price, I'm going to take plus money. Very good. I, too, am I going to be on teasers? By the way, Chris, if you want that 41, all you got to do is hop on a Southwest Airlines flight to the East Coast and head to Delaware Downs. where they'll, I'm Delaware sure they'll give you, Downs. They'll give you 500 on the under 41. So uh, these unique <laughs> sports books are... Uh, Excellent opportunities. If you're not a betting syndicate, not looking to get a lot of money down, uh, probably not worth your while, though, to you know spend the eight hours of travel time. Yeah, spend more the, on the plane um, ticket these days. <laughs> yes. The um, uh, Careful, here comes some math. Warning, math warning. So we love games like this. 7.25 is what Baltimore's favored by. They're laying seven, but there's some seven and abs. So we all know long teasers, we don't we don't tease minus sevens typically down to minus one. But when the line's 7.25 and a book gives us a minus seven with a little extra vig, we love teasing that because the extra vig, that goes in the garbage can. It isn't factored in when we tease. So And we get flexibility. We can tease Baltimore in a six-point teaser to minus one, or we can use a six-and-a-half-point teaser if we need it down to minus a half. They both work. I'm going to use both. I'll tease Baltimore down to one with Buffalo up from plus two to plus eight and a six point teaser. And I've got to go six and a half points when I tease Baltimore down to minus a half because I need the Bengals. Boy, I I love those white helmets. They look so good. Um, Tease from seven up to seven and a half for Cincinnati with um, um, the much despised uh, backup quarterback that actually showed some competence. So I have no uh, favoritism to Baltimore at the minus 7.25. Um, I don't. I know the Rams are running the ball well. I don't trust the Rams um, in the bad weather. Um, off some good performances, so LA team in bad weather. Uh, much prefer the Ravens rushing attack to the resurgent Rams running attack. I'm on the Ravens and the teasers. Yeah, Ravens teasers seem pretty fair this week. I, I, I like that Bengals look to getting them up through the key, and we'll get to that game in a little bit. But I think it's fair. Right now, and the follow-up here, guys, is Baltimore the best team in the AFC? I mean, you've got Buffalo down, Kansas City a little bit down. You've got Jacksonville that just lost Trevor Lawrence. I think Miami is right there. Their defense seems to be trending up. Chris, if you had to rank the AFC teams right now, current form, throw the rating out the window, but just you had to pick one to win the Super Bowl right now or go to the Super Bowl, would it be Baltimore or would you still lean in another direction there? 
Oh, I absolutely, uh, you know, it has to be Baltimore from the AFC. It's, uh, you know, the, we'll, we'll have to see how they do in postseason, though. We know that they haven't fared well, but uh, they could be uh, they could be a real contender. You know, when, you know, Andrews can, is going to be back. He's got three, Jackson has three great receivers to throw the ball to. Uh, if that team can go into the playoffs healthy, have that home field advantage, and possibly skip that needless game, if they can get that number one seed, that puts them in the real driver's seat. Uh, you definitely have to consider them live to to, to go deep, deep, deep. Mm. Baz, you agree? Baltimore number one mm. right now? It's complicated. Miami is the highest power-rated team, but that's because if all three of these teams play the Carolina Panthers, Miami will beat them by the most, all right? <laughs> um, but if they all have to play against San Francisco, now I don't want Miami anymore. So it depends yeah. who they're playing against in terms – and it's complicated because Baltimore isn't good in the playoffs historically. Um, I tell you what, they are really good against NFC teams that haven't seen that quirky attack you know, Dominic just asked a great question in the chat room. He says, well, how about we, we do the double result and we just take Baltimore to win the first half and to win the second half? Let me price that real quick for you. So if I if I take a look at first half, I look I want to look at first half money line for Baltimore. And I see it many books. It's the no big is like minus 210. Um, but ties lose because I got to win the first half. OK, got to win the first half. Right. So because of that. It's like, it, 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 I, I would say, without doing all the ugly math, I would say if you could get a Baltimore double result at like minus 165, I think that would be solid value. I wouldn't go past like minus $1.75. Great stuff. Yeah, I think we're all kind of in agreement that Baltimore is going to win this game. Um, and we're all teasing the Ravens in some capacity. Uh, the teasers get a little convoluted, but Chris is doing a three Three-teamer, uh, Baltimore, Buffalo, Tampa Bay. Um, I'm on Baltimore with Cincy, and, and Fez is, is pairing Baltimore with Buffalo and then uh, uh, basically using Baltimore as a key uh, in the teaser. Baltimore with Buffalo and then Baltimore with Cincinnati. So, again, teaser action in the Ravens game. It does seem like that is the consensus play across the board.